everybody. Hello. So today I'm going to be doing a reading for the disappearance of Carly Lane Duquet. Carly was 16 years old in 2018. Um, she had attended a party on the 12th of October and um, she's come out to the party or the, it wasn't really a party so to speak it's from what I heard it described as a get together. Um, she frantically called her stepmother, Melissa Doucet, to come and pick her up from the party, uh, or the get-together. Um, it said that she possibly smoked something. Um, they said that Carly was acting crazy, talking, wanting to read the Bible. Like, it was really weird. The stepmother's story is kind of inconsistent. She says she stayed with her all night, and then she didn't. Um, they said she wanted, in the um, recording of it, said she wanted to go to the hospital or after she needed to go to the hospital. And Dr. Phil had said that she sounded very disoriented and like she was on drugs. Melissa either stayed in the bed with her or didn't. We don't know. But, um... She tried to stay up, but she fell asleep, and when she woke up, Carly was gone. She was disoriented, and she has not been seen since then. This is in, I think, Chiffon, or Bishop, uh, of California. So, I'm going to, um, it's been two years, the sweet baby ain't been found yet, but I might, I just want to see what happened to her again. And I've done one reading on her, I believe, but I'm going to ask a few pointed questions and see what we get. Alright? Get right by the angle. Can you please show me the thing who caused the disappearance of Carly Lane Duquet? Too many cards then. Okay, can you please show me who caused the disappearance of Carly Lane Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And the Fool card is in reverse as well. Okay. Um, Spirit, will you please show me what was the motive? What was the motive behind the disappearance of Carly Lane? What was the motive behind the disappearance? The reason for her disappearance, the reason more so for him to go. Another way to say it. Okay, the Nine of Swords in reverse. The Ace of Wands. And the Page of Wands. And the third question. Here, you please, ooh. So the seven of swords in reverse came out. Here, can you please show, show me the deal? What really happened to Carly Lane Duquet in the early morning hours of October the 14th, 2019? To cause her to go missing and stay missing. Okay, so we have the Three of Cups and the Strength card is in reverse here. And I'm going to pull six for this question. Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands in reverse. And we have the nine of cups in reverse. Oh, we have mercy. Oh, so ended on the bottom of the six of cups, which is it indicates the past or um, something of the past. 
Okay, so um, with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Fool card in reverse, um, we can see being afraid um, that you're not going to, you know, you're putting in all this effort and it's, you know, it's not going to, you're not going to get any reward for it. Um, you know, it also shows procrastinating, um, you know, not dealing with an issue, not taking it as serious as you should, you know, um, delays, you know, being impatient as well, and it can also show like a lack of planning, and then with the Ten of Pentacles, you know, this is family, this is the family car, the family home, in reverse, it represents, you know, family feuds, um, neglecting your family, domestic disputes, like sudden or un, you know, unexpected changes. Um, it can show like illegal activity or like dodgy business deals. Um, it shows a very sudden and unexpected change in terms of health. Um, and with the full reverse, that's gonna that tells me that. You know, that's like a distraction, a red herring. This would be Carly walking down the road. That never happened. That was set in place. You know, that wasn't true. Um, you know, walking away, her walking away was a distraction, you know, a way for them to turn the attention away from the family home. Um, behaving very recklessly and being very irrational about things. So, I'm going to say, and it's also wealth through the generations. For me, it feels like, you know, she came clean about, um, you know, being at the party. I think when she got home, I think that her father, you know, who was, a bit irrational and not in his right mind at the time, kind of um, acted a little aggressively. I, I feel like, because what, what I'm picturing is like her head hitting a doorknob. I know that might sound weird, but I'm just feeling like it hit a doorknob and being pushed really hard into a doorknob. And they didn't know she had a concussion, probably. Um, I'm feeling like that's where this drug infused type thing. That they were speaking of, um, I think that that's where a lot of her slurredness and I'm assuming the way she was speaking came from. Um, I do think that she did drink or did do some type of drug and overdid it a little, but I don't think that that is exactly what she died from. I, I feel like some type of domestic issue. Um, so now we have the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Wands. Um, and the Page of Cups. So, the Nine of Swords in reverse is like um, a scandal in the making, you know. Um, extreme remorse and guilt. It shows sharing um, issues, you know, getting support. The Ace of Wands is taking action. You know, like a sense of urgency is felt with this card. It can, um, it can also indicate moving houses or like buying a house, you know, coming coming up with creative ideas and thinking outside the box. It could be like gifts or winning something or some type of inheritance. Um, it also indicates health issues worsening. So, um, suddenly worsening. So, Here's the information about that. With the, this the Page of Cups. This is the information coming in. Important information. So I think that um, her boyfriend has some information. He probably knows um, what happened. Even though I don't think he was there. I really don't feel like he was there. But I do feel like 
he knows what happened and he aided in helping them, I think. Um, so with the Knight of Swords in reverse, I'm feeling like that's Melissa. She has some extreme guilt here. Um, you see the pillow beside her, I'm feeling like um, when she fell asleep, she blames herself because she didn't take it seriously enough. She wasn't, you know, being a supportive, you know, system for her. And, you know, they had to go forward and make a plan. And they used her emotional um, situation to basically painted around it and used it as their, you know, way to get away with it, basically. So, with the Seven of Swords, which is, you know, which is the what really happened to her, with the Seven of Swords in the reverse, it shows deception being exposed and the truth coming out. It can also indicate being deceitful and underhanded. And it shows warning signs in relation to, like, um, not to ignore warning signs in relation to health. Um, I feel like, you know, she got, like I, like I said, it's the Seven of Swords. She got exposed for being at the party. She, you know, wanted to come home. And I think that he was hot-tempered because with the Three of Cups, this is the party here. This is celebration of parties. Um, a group of people coming together, you know, to share important event, you know, sh share important things together and have fun. It can also show overindulgence and excessive partying. So, I do feel like she was over, you know, overdoing it a little. She wasn't supposed to be at the party. She went anyway. Um, she was drunk. She was vulnerable with the strength card reversed. She was feeling very vulnerable and lacked confidence. He was very impulsive and he was unable to control himself. And I think that he took it a bit too far. And I'm saying her father. I feel very strongly with this energy that it is her father who did it. Now, if I were to tell you who I thought was responsible, I would have actually went for probably Melissa Doucet being the responsible party for killing her, but I'm actually feeling like it wasn't Melissa, that it was Zach, and it was an accident. Um, the drugs were just another, you know, whatever she did that night was just another thing added on to this injury. They probably didn't think it was as bad as it was, but it was. She, I think she had a confession, I think she fell asleep, and I think that... Um, I think that her, um, you know, I think that she fell asleep and did not wake up. Kind of probably threw up in her mouth a little bit. So we see the woman here sitting in the chair, looking at something in the candlelight. So I'm feeling like Melissa did try. To stay up all night and check on her. She tried to be by her side. I don't think that Melissa was okay with the situation, but you know, by the time I feel like they found Carly, they had no other choice, you know, in the matter. And I really hate that a lot. Because with the Seven of Swords, I mean, the Seven of Wands in reverse, this shows, you know, a failure to, to defend or protect, finding common ground uh, with your partner and compromising, you know, making compromises. I feel like she woke up, found, you know, I feel like she fell asleep. She was watching over her. And I feel like the, on the Dr. Phil episode, when she was trying to recount the story of the morning, she talks about laying in the bed and she woke up. Because she had fallen asleep. And she reacted, Carly? And it was like a really emotional Carly. Like, Carly's still in the bed with you. Kind of, a, you know, emotion. I really do think that is what happened. Um, she did, you know, she's not innocent in it. Because she did, you know, use her resources, her connections to 
have a place probably works with the eight of pentacles probably used her work in order to um solidify a place where she would not be found um with the nine of cups this is you know this isn't what she wanted this is shattered dreams and wishes becoming nightmares shows being air it shows um her father being arrogant and conceited and very self-centered and selfish but at that point they felt like you know they had no other choice in the matter she had to go along with it because she was in deep and the, you know the truth came out at that point they both would but yeah that's what i see i don't have any I can try to pull, I'm going to try to pull, um, a few from the dark mirror or for that just to try to see if we can get any other kind of information about, you know, about the situation. Can you please show me with the dark mirror or for the what happened to Chloe when you say energy surrounding? So hiding your true self is dark mirror. Addicted. And you don't have to read these backwards, I'm telling you, these are some strong cards. Just two more. Queen of my own world. I better stop. I won't fall through. Hmm. Okay, so hiding your true self. Addicted, queen of my own world, and terrified. Terrified sisters. I mean, yeah, with the hiding, you know, feeling like you are hiding. This isn't necessarily Carly, but it could be Carly. Carly might have been addicted to some type of drug. She was hiding it. Um... Somebody's feelings became first. They weren't worried about it. They were. They hit her because you know she was like a parasite. They all died. She killed the host. You know the parasite kills the host as it kills itself. You know. Basically, I think it feels like they, Melissa, ultimately has allowed herself to let go of her grief because. She felt like it was Carly's fault. I mean, she is it, it's feeling like she prompted this to happen. Like, she wanted it to happen. She kind of hyped it up, but she did not want Carly to die. I don't feel that at all. And I feel like that did cause her remorse, but she's narcissistic, so she got right back up on that horse. Yeah. So, anyways, you guys have a lovely night. Let me know. Um, what your opinion is, what you guys think, and remember, everybody is innocent until proven guilty in the court of law. This is just what I'm reading on the cards. I love you guys. Bye-bye.